Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the five-minute pitch of Team Test. Imke will now uh, present their work. Yes. Well, do you want to manage your own health? Our biosensor can achieve this. Good afternoon. I'm Imke and I represent Team Test from the Eindhoven University of Technology. This year we have a multidisciplinary team of 12 students uh, with a background in biomedical engineering, applied physics and electrical engineering. Exactly one year ago we started our journey to detect antipro BMP. This made it possible to realize our dream, to contribute to healthcare innovation. And on top of that, to realize yours, to manage your own health. Um, in this pitch, I would like to present two things to you. How our biosensor works and how it makes heart failure patients happier. For our biosensor, we got inspired by a principle about an optomagnetic cluster assay. And using these principles, we, we managed to build our own device completely from scratch. To get some feeling for this principle, let's take a look into blood plasma. We have to zoom in one billion times to see the antipro BMP ourselves. But our tiny magnetic particles can find it without any enlargement. They can bind to one specific protein thanks to the coating with antibodies. And when two of them bind the antipro BMP, a cluster is formed. This binding process happens in our disposable cartridge. And when this cartridge is placed in our device, we can measure how many clusters are formed by using magnets and a laser. When the particles are um, rotated by the magnets and illuminated by a laser, single particles will give a different signal than the formed clusters. And let me demonstrate this to you using this small uh, magnetic particle. Well, small is five million times larger than the ones in our biosensor, so that you could actually see them. But when we look at their shadow, when the movie starts, you see that the shadow of a single particle remains the same during a rotation, while the shadow of a cluster variates. And this difference in light intensity, that is something we can measure. And we can do it pretty well. It comes down to one gram of antipro BMP in an entire Olympic swimming pool. And this all happens in our small device. On the left you see the interior of our biosensor, and on the right the entire package and how small it can be by further optimization. So now we have an idea about the workings of our biosensor. I would like to tell you how it makes heart failure patients happier. To do that, we need to know what society wants. And therefore, we conducted a survey among heart failure patients in the Netherlands and had many conversations with healthcare specialists. And from this survey, we learned that 73% of the patient is interested to use a biosensor to monitor their own disease at home. And 98% of them wants to share their, inf their information with their health practitioner. Their main requirement is the user friendliness of the device to reduce the time they spend on their disease. From the conversation with healthcare specialists, it became clear that increasing the measuring frequency will be beneficial for patients. And also that you have to add more variables like your weight, your blood pressure, or how the patient feels to get a conclusive result. And of course, it needs to be at low cost. And our biosensor can offer this. You can measure two times a week at home to increase your measuring frequency. And uh, you have to add the other variables to catch your conclusive uh, diagnose. And you can do this at your own smartphone, which makes it easy to share your information with your health petitioner. And whenever deterioration is measured, is, uh, yeah, becomes, you will ask to measure daily for a while. And when your failures are critical, your health practitioner will be alarmed so that medication or diet changes can be made. And this can prevent hospitalization, which saves 14,000 euros per patient per year. So our biosensor meets the requirements of heart failure patients very well. But that's not all. Because our principle is based on clustering, we can easily expand it to other proteins by changing the content of our cartridge. So, as you can see on the next slide, our biosensor is a true lab at home. And now, I would like to thank our sponsors and our advisors. And thank you all for listening. <laughs> oh, 
Javier, are there any questions? I would like to ask them together with Maartje. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's a very good question for Martin. <laughs> well, we have estimated our roadmap to the market, and we have estimated in 2022 it will be on the market. Yeah, so five more years, okay. unfortunately. Yeah. Any more questions? <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you.